Fish on. He's lost two lures so far. They were big fish. So he is determined this time to land a fish. I'm gonna go get the I'm gonna go get the gaff. Have it up here. Get right in the middle of me making supper. See him yet? Yeah, just that's fine. Let him let him tire out. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna turn off the generator and we can go a little. Well, we're going about the right speed. And off. I could slow it down a bit if you want. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Slow it down to about 700 RPMs. There we go. Still moving through the water. Well, he's pulling hard. Oh, he's pulling hard. He's a big one. Just for my family, does this remind you of when I pulled in the giant thing of seaweed? We fought it, we fought it, and we were like all excited. The little kids were saying, it's a big one, Dad. And it was about 150 pounds worth of seaweed. Leave it to me to have yet another story, offshore story, every time we start to do anything. I'm gonna have to go down there and flip those burritos. Yep. I'm gonna go down and do it. All right. Take you guys with me. Oh, those are looking good, huh? light side. You got him? There you go. How close is he? I don't know. It's pretty close. Not too far back, 20, maybe 10 yards. Getting the gaff ready for us. Okay, the gaff is behind you and it's open, so okay. it's, it's it's on the other seat though. Yeah. See the line go down, straight down back here. Okay. Yep, yep. 
I turned the stove off, so they're still cooking, but. We'll just toss him in the cook cockpit well yeah. once I gaff him. Once we get him here, I'll switch to the gaff and you take the you take the GoPro, okay? Geez, you had a lot of line out, man. He took a shit, man. Did he? Yeah. He must be tired. He's he's not fighting you now. Yeah, he Wait now, I think. There, he's pulling a little. He sees the boat. Yeah. Do you want me to stop the boat? Yeah. I don't know. Really. I've been in this before. <laughs> okay, we gotta watch it that the solar panel doesn't cut your line too. So you might want to walk up here with it. If you can get it off and walk up to sit by these solar panels up here then I can gaff him right here well, let's wait let's wait till we see him here I don't even see a shadow of him yet oh, he's down okay Okay, let's, let's switch if you can. Is he too heavy? I don't know. For you to do that? Move the seat, please. Yep. Here. Ready? Yep. He dove deep. He's like, I don't want to go to the surface, guys. I don't want to. Wow, where the hell is it? Oh, it don't break. I wonder if I should get the boat going a little bit. Huh? Or yeah, maybe just teach you guys to go under this. Oh, let's, let's just stick with what we're doing. The shark. Oh, it is. <laughs> we got a shark. All right, we got to try and get that off. You got your plier things? They're in the blue cubby. No, I'm not doing it. It's not my shark. Here, I'll, I'll take it over over here. We want to get the pole out, or because mm. we can't reach the line. And yeah, I guess. To get the pole and bring it over this way, and that way I can reach down and snag it. I think. Okay. Just a second. Let me try something here. I don't know how how good this is gonna film anything, but. <laughs> it's what it is. Don't it in the water. Okay. All right. Hold on for a second. I'll get yep. the pull up and over here. Maybe if I can. Oh, I'm just gonna die. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's turn off the motor. Come on, buddy, we're trying to help you here. Oh, 
I, we might want to just cut the line. I don't know that you can. There goes your third. <laughs> third lure. He broke it. Bye bye, shark. That was a third know, lure. Was that four foot shark? Maybe? Uh, yeah, maybe. A 12, might have been a 12 19 meter. foot shark. That was a 14 meter shark. When you know it. And Norman. Yes. It was fun fishing today though, wasn't it? It was fun fishing. I, I that guy he's that. got he's gonna have all the girls now with yeah. that lip ring he's got. Yeah, he's gonna have some. Alright. There we go. That's our that our dinner. Got a shark. We actually know we had it got it all the way up here this time. Yeah. And, and it was pretty back. good size, so yeah, the yeah. bollard hook is the way to go for tying on your hooks. I promise. Yep. That's what Total put on there and that's There what we go. Well, we uh, just got the boat sailing along pretty good with the wind vane and now I'm going to make some taco salad uh, for dinner. So I've got some peppers I'm going to cut up and some tomatoes and some greens that are just about to go so we're going to finish them off i've got some cheese i've got some great homemade salsa from the lady in uh, la forche the mexican lady there that made some awesome burritos for us that we brought along and then this is the ground beef i just started it so now i'm going to cut some stuff up and i figured and i figured i'd just take you along and i'm going to try out my new headset that I got from my buddy Chip. Thanks, Chip. So let's see how let's see how this works. Kind of weird. My son taught me how to cut peppers like this. He's a chef, and I did not know this little little tricky trick. But it's an awesome tricky trick. Thanks, Jimmy. I got a lot of peppers, so you want to just eat one? I'm not sure how many peppers you want in this. I'm gonna put one more. Okay, here we go. We've been out here two weeks. Norman has been out offshore, well, not really offshore the whole time. Sailing with Topher for two weeks, and he's ready for me to go home. He says he's not, but he's kind of a loner. He's a loner guy, so I'm sure that me constantly rearranging his boat is getting a little bit on his nerves. He'll do something and I'll go and do it a different and then I'll go fix it <laughs> no you know what it is people we both had the same boat and we're both dialing in his boat that's how I look at it everything that we're trying on his boat is a dial in for MIG 
that I don't have to do. So we keep trying stuff and then we go, okay, well, that doesn't work. Either one of us, right? Wouldn't you say, Norman? Yes, I would. And so we change it. And I, I gotta say, I've been amazed at Norman's willingness to let me just kind of experiment with his boat. And it's been really great. I've been learning a lot about Norse 27s and about their sailing characteristics. And, uh, and I'll tell you, no bullshit about this. I, I admit that I thought that the North Sea would be a good boat, a good sailing boat, or I wouldn't have bought one. But I did not expect it. I did not expect it to perform the way that it does. It has really amazed me. I'll tell you one thing though, if you have one of these boats and it doesn't have a triple reef in the main, you need to get a triple reef main. Is it? So I've told my wife that if she moves on to MIG with me, like she did Wandering Dolphin, that she would never have to cook again. And she does not believe me, but it's true. I'm serious. I'm dead serious about that. Okay. gonna be weird taco salad but yeah well, well we're putting it over chips but it's got lots of tomatoes and stuff in it and a gimbaled stove is nice he didn't have one but this stove works pretty good and I I think you could gimbal it you could put it on gim a gimbal I think couldn't you Norman I don't know what the underside looks like. It's got what? Oh, you, it's not a, uh, like, flexible? Once you get back on course, you can hook up the monitor and just steer the little blade into the, see if it works. I really don't wanna leave this stuff. <laughs> These are the little homemade salsas from that nice lady. You got the salt and pepper up there? It's getting too much for you? Doing all this other, all this other stuff I'm doing? 
Oh, here, do this, do this, do this. I'm buying a fucking speaker. Yeah, do Thanks, man. it off with the thing let me move it and then we can See what it does. And it's okay to adjust sails too. So if it's if it's rounding up into the wind with the weather helm, let some out of the main, which is what it's kind of doing. So let a little bit out of the main. And if it's got too much lee helm, then it's got too much jib. And just play with it. This stuff looks pretty good, doesn't it? Pretty stinking good, man. It's rounding up. Okay, then let's give it some Lee Helm by putting out some more jib. Well, hold on, we gotta get it back on set, set up and then we do that. So get us back on their course and I'll set this. Jib. Pull up or out? Out. We're pulling some more jib out. All right. Let more out. That's all it is. Okay. Now you can adjust the jib. You know, let it a little bit out if it still feels like it's. Is it liking that? What's our course? Can't see it from here. About 90. 85, 90. It's pretty good. Well, that's what you have to do. You just have to keep playing with the sail plan to balance it. The main, main gives you weather helm. Too much jib gives you a lee helm. Thank you. 
Have we got a weather helm or a lee helm? Which way is it going? Are you okay? That's a weather helm, right? Which means you have to reef or you have to reef it. Yeah, yes. Okay, we'll start the generator. You can steer, I'll hook him up. Boy, I hate those chairs. Oh, they are really a pain, aren't they? Ready to put him on? I've got to get him out that way. Okay. Is that your course? It's not, but we're making it. Work. Okay. Oh, goodness. That's some yummy spicy broth. You what? Start the dinner or you wait? No, you can start it, that's fine. Oh, let's wait till I'm done with this. Then we can we can do it when we're eating. I guess we're gonna have to close up the boat tonight if we gotta win from behind, huh? him have an arrow jack for me I, mean, I sure would like to have a mahi no but maybe later We'll catch something. There's a better chance you won't want to bring it in when you do, but. I 
love these little boats. Thank all of you who have subscribed. Right now, I am at 991 subscribers. Thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. At 1,000, I get to monetize this channel. I'm not under any illusions that my channel will ever make very much money, but if it helps a little bit, that'll be uh, something. And it's more about just the community that I've built with you guys. And I really, really, really appreciate all of you. It really means a lot to me that you come back every week and you watch my videos and you comment and even send me uh, personal comments. And I appreciate that a lot. And next week, we will continue on to Tampa Bay. And uh, I hope you've been enjoying these heavy May videos. They're, uh, they're, they're kind of getting close to the end here. But then we'll have some MIG content. Thanks a lot, everybody. Down in the world.